Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to another Android series. In this series we will be building a music streaming app using Jetpack Compose and Firebase. In this video I'll give you a quick overview of this tutorial series and also show you a demo of the app and get the project started. So firstly this is the app that we'll be building here. It's a single screen application where we have seven um, tracks in a recycler view or lazy column and it just has the album art for those tracks. You can click on the track and it will show you the details such as the artist and the track number and the song title. We have a um, turntable here with a record in the center. This will animate as the music is playing. We then have the song title and also the player at the bottom. Um, when we hit play, it will go ahead and stream the track from Firebase. So we can see here it started playing the turntable arm animated towards the um, record and that started spinning and it will continue to rotate um, as the music plays. We then have another animation going on down here which just animates these bars from the bottom to the top and also a little indication of the song that you are playing. We can then hit skip and it will then start to stream the next song and start playing. And we can see that has worked absolutely fine. And um, we can also hit pause and then again hit play to continue playing the song. As mentioned, all of these tracks um, and the album art is stored in Firebase. So these will be streamed to a device and then they can be used onto the screen. There is no um, local storage in this tutorial. It is simply just fetching the images and the um, tracks from Firebase and then playing them and displaying them on the screen. If you wanted to go further in this tutorial, you could also add storage yourself and add some caching. So to get started on your project, first you want to go in a Firebase project and add your tracks and album art into that project. I will show you the project I have here. So in my storage, I have the tracks, just five tracks and also a album art folder, which has all of the album art for those five tracks. I then have a Firestore database, which has all of the track information. So I have a collection named tracks, five documents, which have all of the track details. So we have the album art, the artist, the file name, and then the name. And it's just the same for all of these different documents. And these are the documents that we will retrieve on the app. So all you need to do is just download your music and also your album art, put all your details on here and make sure you have the exact same data structure that I have. So name, file name, artist and album art in the exact same format. So album F with lowercase and art with an uppercase A and the file name with a uppercase N. Also in the storage, you need to make sure you have the relevant rules to be able to access your data. For mine, I just have allow read and write for everything. Um, this is going to be disabled as soon as it's on YouTube, um, but just make sure you have the relevant rules to be able to access your data. Next, to get started on the project, I have a starter branch on GitHub, which you can use to clone my project, and that will give you all of the dependencies you need and also all of the resource files, such as the record PNG, and also any of the fonts as well that I use in this project. So all you need to do is clone this project from that branch and you will be able to start off with all of the dependencies and just no app code. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I have my branch here with the completed code. If I go down to the bottom right hand corner, I can select um, the branch that I want and I want the start branch. And then I select checkout. This will switch to that branch and we can see we still have all of our near resource files but we just have no app code and we will get started on that in the next video so we will be creating our project structure our view model and also our repository and once we've completed that we'll move on to creating the ui using jetpack compose if you have any questions please post them down in the comments please like the video and please subscribe 